All right, Professor Klein here, giving you a quick run through of anatomy and physiology revealed on the APR website. So for me, the quickest way to get there is to go into Google and just typing in anatomy and physiology revealed. And if you click that, it should pop up with any one of these links here. We'll get you to this main page. And on this main page, if you are not registered, click the register slash log in, and that will bring you here. We're doing a human anatomy, so you wanna click on the human one down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Once you're in there, if you need to register, you can go right to here, register as a student, and fill out the whatever they want you to do, pay for it, and then you'll have a login information. There is no class that you need to join on APR. As long as you have access to it, you're good to go. Then type in your email and your password and sign in. All right, I got my correct password in now. Let's sign in now. And it will take you to the main APR page. So in your lab handouts, you'll see there's different sections. Let's look at lab A number one for example and if you see here you can see what you want to complete before lab some youtube videos to watch but then you get to the apr section and you want to look through all these different things down here so uh, we'll talk about the scalpel blade we'll talk about the microscope and the eye icon as well but number one says body orientation dissection all topics so let's jump back to AVR and talk about what that means. That means you want to come up to where it says module. If you click the drop down button for module, you'll see first one, body orientation. There's also chemistry, tissues, and the rest of the body systems, right? This will just group you in to this type of material. So I'll click body orientation. Uh, once I'm at body orientation, now you can see things like the scalpel blade so notice up top scalpel blade that's a dissection that means we're going to be looking at cadaver pictures there's a ton of cadaver pictures uh, on this website so make sure you know when you're in this section you're going to be looking at organs and muscles and things uh, straight from a human cadaver body donor you also notice that there's a video button here don't worry about the video animations that's more for physiology class and a quiz if you want to take the quiz you can but it's not anything I will reference in human anatomy lab all right so we're in body orientation we're in dissection and now we got to pick a topic the lab said all topics so guess what all the topics under body orientation you will want to know and a lot of them are things hopefully you already know for example, what is anatomical position? And if you click on it, it will highlight anatomical position. Now that's, that's the position the body's in right there with the palms facing forward and the feet shoulder width apart. But let's say you wanna know more information. Come on over to the side and you'll notice the eye. Now the eye, if you click on it, will give you more information. In addition to knowing structures and how to uh, label these things, you wanna know some general function with anatomy. So here you can see that the description is, it's a reference position for any anatomical description. That's a great term to know. Let's keep going down through the side here and let's say you wanna share this with somebody. You wanna share this exact page, click on the link, and it will come up with a link for you to share. Next up is the camera. Let's say you wanna make your own PowerPoint with these exact pictures. Well, click on the camera, click on the highlighted structure, or you can do multiple different images down here. Right click, copy, then go over to a PowerPoint presentation and you can paste that exact picture into the presentation. And if you make a bunch of slides, 
you can essentially make PowerPoint flashcards. Now, I would suggest using this as a foundation, but knowing more than just flashcards or memorization for anatomy. Let's continue on, but let's pick something different. So we could talk about prone. This is the prone position of the body or supine, but let's go to a different module. Or I'm on the integumentary system, basically skin, right? So here you can drop it down, you can look at some thin skin, but you'll notice a new icon up in the top. It's a miniature microscope. That is the histology button. So if you click the histology button, it takes you to histology and you look and look at, let's say, thick skin underneath a low magnification of a microscope. I use this heavily on exams when testing students. In addition to that, you can click on something like the epidermis. It will highlight it. Various layers of skin and again remember you got to click on the eye if you want more information on each term all right let's say you want to change the color of the highlighting well come on over to this this eyedropper and click it and what you'll see is it drops out you can turn it red here let me just there you go re-click it after you change it and you can see the new thing that kind of blends in pretty well. So maybe I want to go with like a yellow. Now I can see that really pops off the page a little bit more. Uh, let's do like a light blue as well. All right, you want, let's say you want to remove the highlighting, just click the highlighter button, takes it off, and you can put it right back on. One of my favorite features though is this human outline of a body right here. If you want to know where this is at in the body, for example, thick skin is on the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet, this will tell you. So just looking at this histology slide, oftentimes you ask yourself, where the heck is this in the body? Well, this button right here will tell you where. Remember, you can also go to a higher magnification. So we just zoomed on in, right? Higher magnification, closer look, same things though. Definitely know it on the high magnification and the low, just like you would when you're in the lab. Let's do one last example for you here. I'm in the skeletal module, compact bone, histology, high magnification, and essentially what I've got here is an osteon. So I'll highlight it, take the highlighting away. In your lab handout, there's a question of the five things that make up an osteon. I'll tell you the five right now, just for watching this video, a bonus here at the end. Uh, the five things that make up the osteon are the osteocyte, the lamellae, specifically the concentric lamellae, the lacunae, the central canal, and the caniculus of a compact bone. Let's look at those. First, osteocytes are these small dots right here. They're the cells that make up the osteon. Cells that make up the osteon. And go, whoa. Stop for a second, Professor Klein. Where is this in the body? Glad you asked. This is your skeletal system. So again, zoom out if you need to. Remember, we're zooming deep, deep, deep in the bone to look at that osteon. So I said osteocyte. You also have the lamellae, concentric lamellae that surround an osteon. And this is just one layer. There's actually multiple layers. There's one here. There's another one out here. It's like the rings of a tree trunk. Furthermore, you might come to the lacunae and go, wait a minute, lacunae look a lot like 
the osteocytes, right? I'm going back and forth here. Well, let's look to see with the eye icon what this is. Well, this is a small space that contains the cell body of the osteocyte. So a lacuna is like a shell in the egg. Let's say we're talking about an egg. The egg shell is the lacuna, but the egg itself, the runny egg part, is the osteocyte. Keeping it going, central canal is this middle part that houses the blood vessels. Here you can see some other things that it houses. And then finally, the caniculus of compact bone. Again, what are those lines? Well, they connect adjuncting lacunae. So they connect the osteocytes to one another. And if I drew that on, it would look something like this. Bridges or connecting pieces between the osteocytes. And that has been your overview of how to use APR in conjunction with the lab handouts for anatomy lab at Ohio University.